right, today we're playing Layers of Fear, which is a game that made the sort of indie screamer circuit for a little while, uh, and actually got a lot more prominence than most of the games I've been playing here. I did actually pick this up for free uh, when it was in some kind of uh, Flash deal. I believe they're trying to promote their new DLC, or expansion, or semi-sequel content. The lines are kind of blurring, aren't they? That's so we're going to hit new game here. And uh, now, the interesting thing about this game was that it really bowled everybody over at first with its sort of presentation level polish, but I actually detected a certain amount of backlash towards it a little while later, and I don't have a lot of context for why that is, so we'll be uh, taking a look at that. You know, I, there's a lot of different schools of thought with how a, a horror game should be, and it's it not actually uncommon to see horror games accused of cheating, which I find kind of weird. I the idea that they're I'm like a... Oh, the loss. Back off the here. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. <laughs> but even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. It's not actually a very strong start just from the one precious thing you ever truly desired. If the very first thing uh, that hits you is a line of Finish voice it. acting in your video game, you need to make sure that that is 100%. And that was a little bit limp. It wasn't that it was bad per se, but it's that it, it lacked a lot of strength. And here we got a quote. Every portrait is painted with feeling. It's a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter, Oscar Wilde. Okay. Well, this is reasonably pretty. Uh, we've got our... Uh, looks like some kind of front foyer here and facing outward, so I just entered. All right. I'm going to assume this is my house. Pretty nice place. All right, looks like oh, one of those game amnesia-style games where you uh, click and you drag with a mouse, I guess, to elicit an additional sense of immersion. It is pretty gloomy in here. You know, I, I follow their sort of typical horror game, drag the slider until barely visible, etc. Yep, this appears to be... Uh, yep, the address here of... Popkel? Popkel. Yeah, I got nothing. Maybe that's just like everybody in the know knows about Popkel. You gotta know about Popkel to fit in with the cool kids. But yeah, uh, I, I thought I adjusted it appropriately, but I'm noticing here that even like the, the bright center of this lamp is just a touch dim. Uh, however, I did follow their instructions fairly accurately, so I think I'm gonna keep rolling with it for a little while longer. Uh, I think that it's very possible that I'm sort of meant to not really be getting a good sense of most of this house because I'm not meant to poke around too much here, but just sort of get on with the objective. Okay, uh, that that is wine, although it's it's clever that they sort of let you think it's blood for a second, but the, they clearly put the bottle there to show that it's just carelessness, uh, indolence, and probably insipid alcoholism. All right, we've got a whole kitchen going on here. I really like the level of detail. I wonder if this is resorting me coming back to this area when it's disturbed. Uh, it's generally like a good, good sign in a, a horror game that you're going to be coming back to some place and it's going to be worse. When um, oh, this is nice. They have kind of an accessibility mode where you can hold down spacebar and get the the text in a more visible format. Uh, yep, looks like. We're buying paint, brush, air fresheners. <laughs> oh boy, that's never good when you're buying air fresheners in bulk. Uh, some apples, so just like the, the rudest form of nourishment, and booze. Uh, that's, that, that, that's reasonably effective uh, as a form of characterization. But yeah, if, if there's a lot of detail in an area, it's generally a good sign that uh, that area is going to have some free shit happening in it again. Then again, uh, this game, again, was known for its strong first impression, so it could be that it's trying to give you a lot of lavish detail to kind of hook you in and sell you on this game. Uh, those arresting noises are my dog uh, underneath my desk, who can always be counted on when I'm doing these games that make me shit my pants to just throw a little English on there. You know, just kind of get things popping off a little early with weird scratches. Okay, some just fell or made some kind of noise, and I'm clearly meant to be enticed to the open doorway there, but I am going to poke around just a touch more, because I'm, I'm interested in this area. Alright, we got some burnt-ass sheet music. Um, I'm guessing this means that there's a house fire uh, in some that this residence or some other. Been working all night, don't wake me up. Um, from the aristocratic settings and general sense of dire loneliness, I'm going to presume that I have servants. And the record's playing by itself, which is definitely a good sign. 
So yeah, see, look at this bed. Uh, clearly a lot of work has gone into making kind of the, the, the light mapping on this bed very successful. Uh, there's also just kind of the fact that it's clearly canoed in the center here, uh, indicating that somebody spent a lot of time in it and maybe not gone out and bought a new mattress or fucking cleaned it at some point. Jesus. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up. Figured I might do some work. I love you. Okay, um... So that, that feels like a couple's thing, but again, this, this bed looks like it's divoted in the center, which... Tell... Like, my instinct is that somebody's... Oh, see, yeah, see, look at all the dust on here. Yeah. Yeah, alright. See, th this is visual storytelling right here. We had somebody, we don't anymore. Don't know why yet, although the fact that there's the sheet music that's burned makes me think that maybe there was some kind of catastrophe. Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, got yet... Oh no, this this appears to be some kind of study, and we got something glistening over here, which is a video game universal sign for grab that shit. I'm sorry I'll make it up to you tonight, it's all about you and me, let's make it special. And then you promised written on it, so... Okay, it could be that I just I just was too much of a an artist. <laughs> Artist! It turns out you don't need to be an asshole. It turns out your art can just be a thing you do instead of a thing that ruins everybody's lives, including your own. Now, don't buy the myth! Don't buy the mythology! It's not about you being a creative genius. It's just about you being kind of a selfish jerk. Alright, so there's a little red riding hood facing up to a big bad wolf. Oh, then the wolf eats her. Oh, what an asshole. Oh, and then... The wolf eats the other little girl, too. Oh, what a, what a shit. Is this two different angles on the wolf eating the girl? All right, so yeah, the wolf eats the girl, and then it looks like the wolf eats the girl's wears the girl's clothing and eats another girl, or maybe the grandma. This is some weird shit. Uh, this this is the kind of art I would expect of an entitled asshole. Uh, oh, and there's kind of a, a. Now I could be wrong here, but I believe what's being depicted here is uh, the condition which actually led people to be mistaken for werewolves historically. Uh, you, you can look it up. I don't remember any of the relevant medical terminology, but uh, I, I remember seeing paintings and pictures of it which looked like that. Or it could just be somebody bad at drawing mutton chops. Who knows? Alright, now I believe that the door that opened all a spookily was down here. Alright, here are little clicks and clacks, and I have to say that so far I'm not actually frightened. Um... Maybe I'm just, like, getting too much into sort of exploring the area here, and I'm not kind of getting into a ready-to-be-spooked sense, but also, like, the music and stuff doesn't feel like it's trying to spook me. Uh, you know, it's kind of... It's more gentle and somber and fucked up, really. So I'm getting here is that I had a kid of some kind. Old enough to draw pictures, but there's still a crib? That's, that's kind of a weird and specific age here. I guess this isn't a crib. I guess it's just a... kind of a kid's bed. Up oh, and here we got oh, some kind of belly thing. See, this is the one reason. See, this is one of the reasons why I like horror games so much, despite the fact that I don't actually enjoy the physical sensation of being startled, as I'm sure some of you gathered by the ungassed, godly noises I make. Uh, is because you know I, when you take the excuse to sort of make your game slow-paced uh, and all about immersing yourself in details, you've got such license to make those details sort of great and gripping. Oh, okay, so that was door was locked and I found the key earlier, I think. Um, thought I did. Maybe I didn't find the right key? Well, let's look around and see if we can find another locked door, I suppose. Oh, uh, this is a closet. I may have actually... Oh. Yep! Ah, no problems here. Everything is all good in the hood. Now, some of you may actually be screaming at me that I've already unlocked the uh, original locked door, if so. Yeah. Well, time to toss my entire fucking house looking for a key that only I use. If only this weren't so realistic. If only this weren't so terribly realistic. Oh, okay, so now we find out about the flames. Uh, looks like, um, uh, yeah, department store burned down people trapped in the raging inferno well i guess it's possible that my girlfriend left me and then she died in a goddamn fire or maybe i burned her to death who knows and yep the mirror's broken because mirrors are hard guys you don't know you don't know how hard mirrors are okay 
Yeah, this is the door that's locked, so no joy. Now, I think I may actually dedicate several episodes to this game, partially because I don't have a lot of time set aside for recording here, just really enough to get into it. Um, partially because uh, I'm curious. I'm enticed by sort of, yeah, just only the finest and ghastly insmith looking paintings. Because uh, I'm, I'm enticed by kind of people's disenchantment with the game, which I've seen expressed, but not really in any... Uh, I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked. Okay, this serves that there definitely is a servant. Um, care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Okay, so actually, I just don't know where I'm leaving my keys all the time. Oh, and here's my study. Fan God damn it, Stella. <sighs> Alright. To be clear, I, I'm saying God damn it, Stella, not because she's barking my recording. I don't think people particularly mind that as long as it's not abusive. Uh, but because it startles me. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I, I'm really excited to find out why people may have gone off it. Because, again, this is a pretty strong start. I'm liking the, the level of detail here. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done before you go to sleep. Okay, yeah, so once again, we're sort of dealing with the artist's obsession. And let me be clear here, I'm not claiming that, you know, I've never, like, oh, Dad, you know, I have to sort of work on this, I have to get it done, I got deadlines, or, you know, I'm, I'm making such good progress, I need to stick with it here, but, you know, a sense of perspective and a sense of knowing when to back up off of it is essential. Because it turns out that your art is really nice, and your art can really sort of give your, your life shape and purpose. Lost it. You deserve. Finish it. Okay, everything here else here is sort of... It looks like there was text here, but it was maybe erased. Yep. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. Okay. Uh, you know, your art is great, and it can kind of give structure for purpose, it can give you a goal, it can give you a way to express your feelings, but, you know, at the end of the day, if you've got a relationship, and it's really working for you, that is more precious to you as a person and as a human being. Get it right this time. And, uh, let me check here. Yep, that's outside of my reach. Uh, so... If I did paint that up there, that was not just a drunken moment, that took, that took some dedication. All right, well, uh, I guess there's nothing else to do here, but whip this off. And I, yeah, okay, it kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, I, I need to finish this painting, because right now it is bullshit. Let's see, where's my, uh, lost, you deserve it to finish it. Okay, how, how does one finish it? Uh, presumably I locate my tools. Uh, I could examine those tools, but not much else. Uh, is this open? All right, so there's my stuff, but I can't actually get it. Oh, it looks like, um... All right, I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here. Uh, I painted my lady at some point, uh, and this is where she used to sit, and when she fucked off, I got really mad and threw all my paints over it because I couldn't handle it. Just, just, just sort of, just a little guess. All right, so that, that shit's locked. Um, that's just art fuel right there. Uh, Alright, maybe I'm stupid, but I'm not spotting my tools, so let's try to leave and see if something spooky happens. Something spooky's happening. Yeah, the lights are dimming. And I can kind of feel my butthole starting to pucker, which is... Oh, and uh, I'm in an impossible space now, I think. So, oh no, here's the door. That's right. Okay, um, this is familiar, but again, something has changed, hasn't it? The lighting's a little different, uh, it's dim in some areas, less inviting and sort of guiding me. Uh, oh, and there's going in circles written on the fucking couch. So, I'm just gonna put on a little genre savviness, and instead of continuing to go in circles, I'm gonna try to backtrack and see if that gets me to new progression, because that's what usually happens, uh, when... You're in an impossible space like this. I think the first time I saw that trick was uh, the actually very interesting game, Antichamber, which I was far too stupid to finish. Um, where it would uh, kind of lock you in an impossible circle, and then, oh, the only thing you gotta do, you gotta turn around and go back. 
Although, now that I think of it, I think that there's a similar puzzle in Silent Hill, which I did not play, but only recently saw someone play for the first time. Oh, boy. Eight, five, four. I, I think that's it. Yep, eight, five, four. A uh, little tip, if you're ever in an escape room, uh, especially if you're not, if you, like me, have much smarter friends, uh, what you're going to want to do is, uh, your job is to redundantly input and double-check any map or combinations or anything else. Uh, I think it was 854. Because people are stupid and they forget, like, numbers or they, uh, they, they, they get little things wrong and then they become, like, despondent and they're like, I thought that was the solution. The past holds back? Look closer. I thought alone. And I just got an achievement. Don't put fucking achievements for basic progression in your horror game. Will you marry me? Oh boy, that was that was some ugly shit. If you didn't see that, if you didn't hear him say that, uh, rewind that and sort of read the, the subtitles. That was, yeah, we're an asshole, guys. It's funny, actually. I'm I'm just assuming we're the artist because this this looks like the artist's house, and it looks like he's the one who's still living here. But, yeah, uh, and also just because the artist appears to, like, actually, that's interesting. I just kind of assumed the artist was the male. Partially, I guess, from this era, although there certainly were, uh, even prolific female artists of this era. But, uh, come to think of it, I don't think that there was ever any direct evidence that our character was the male and sort of the, the wife was the female. That's just kind of the... Yeah, in part because of the historical gender breakdowns of artists, kind of how the, the... And also just because of basic gender roles. That's kind of how the, the dichotomy is split. That, that's where the tropes lie. These big-ass dominoes. Just sitting here by the fire playing dominoes. That's a sad fucking Saturday evening. I don't care what year it is. And actually, I'm not really clear what year it is. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've gotten 19th century, but there may have been some kind of... Um, uh, whoa! Whoa! Okay. Baby that drops you through the floor may well be this artist's most challenging work yet. As in, I am challenged to think of a reason why you would fucking make that. Dust mice, even in my lungs, there's always ver more <laughs> grotesque vermin dirt. Yeah, I feel you, buddy. And I got an achievement for that as well, so... Fantastic. All right, well, there's an electrical light switch, so this is not probably 19th century. You know what? Uh, I want to say something right now. I'm not jump scared. I'm actually handling this pretty well, and I think that... Uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and read this real quick and come back to that point. Even though you've not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. <laughs> Uh, I have a career, a loving husband. Yeah, how did I know that this sort of actual sentiment was coming from the female partner and not our jackass protag? Uh, I've never been a more deep... I've never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon I found in perfecting my art. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... Uh, you know what? It may be that the, the woman is the artist and then we're playing the woman, or it may also be that the, the woman is also an artist. Let's... Oh, they once told me I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold out con. Oh, right there. She is an artist. She's a, a musician. She died in a fire. We keep her sheet music on her piano. Uh, and yeah, they told me I would never succeed as a musician. Yeah, she's she's not like consumed by her art in the same way we are as a painter. Oh boy, artist power couples. They're always fun. And I got an achievement for that, too. Lay off the goddamn achievements. Anyway, as I was going to say, uh, this game is not jump scary very much so far. Uh, maybe that they're ramping up to it, but I actually feel like almost tonally this game is more about sort of... Uh, it's about distress more than it's about, like, fear. Like, our character doesn't feel terrified. Our character just feels, like, kind of numb and hollow somehow. Like, that the squalor of this this matter is reflective of the, squ the actual literal squalor we were putting it through. Um, that said... Yep. That, there's, there's some baby trubs that happened here. Something bad happened to a child. That is clear. 
Uh, that said, I actually am preferring it. This is almost what I like out of horror. Kind of an interesting story told through a, a aggressive prosecution of an imperfect person uh, by impersonal supernatural forces. Paint deep lies. Okay. And there's a note on there. Tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. Okay. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> yeah, this guy's a fucking sleaze back. <laughs> I mean, it's not even that, like, that line was sleazy. It's, like, the way he said the line just, like, oozed, like, possessiveness and objectification of your partner. Uh, you know, it's like, okay, I want to get the curves just right. That's appropriate. You know, people have said similar things to me when drawing me. But, you know, it's like... <laughs> I want to get those curves just right, baby. Oh, boy. Yeah, like, aggressive prosecution of a imperfect person by malicious or uncaring supernatural forces. That's what I like out of horror, and I feel like I'm getting it here without feeling like I'm having a goddamn heart attack. So, um, yeah. So far, prop props. Uh, so far, I, I, I'm digging what this game's putting out. Got about another 10 minutes here. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, I'm also digging that there doesn't seem to be an actual hazard or threat that can kill me. Um, game overs in a horror game, you know, really kind of take me out of the experience. And, uh, you know, you could, you could think I'm a wuss, uh, but actually the, the stress of evading a monster is, for me, rarely worth it in terms of creating a memorable experience as opposed to just an unpleasant one. I can think of actually one example of a game that was stressful uh, in a way that really, like, made me like it. Uh, and <laughs> I... A little some sobbing coming through here. Uh, at the time, I was very impressed by that moment and later became less impressed. Uh, that moment was uh, in Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth, a tremendously flawed but... Yeah, you know, pleasantly ambitious horror game. Uh, in the superior beginning half, before it became a dumb corridor shooter, uh, there was a section where you have to, you're in a hotel room and you need to go from room to room, running and locking doors and desperately shoving things, a uh, wine cellar of some kind, which again, impossible space. I can hear bottles or something clattering under my feet, I think. Um... Yeah, but you, you have to, like, sort of run and evade and jump out a window and flee. And I liked that for a few reasons. Number one, I liked it because it was fucking intense. You've spent the whole chapter becoming terrified of these guys who have not yet been an actual threat, and now they're trying to kill you. Uh, the other reason I like it is because it's... You know, there, there's a lot of, like, sort of minute actions you have to do. It's a short sequence, so if you die and you have to try it again, uh, it, it doesn't, like... It doesn't lose its edge. Uh, it's short and intense. Um, I like it because immediately afterwards there's a section where it's hard to die, but like you still feel the, the, the intenseness and the chase coming after you. Yep, we're back to this kitchen space, what I tell you. Uh, and I, I think the wine is cleaned up. I think that's just like water, maybe, from a, a dish. It doesn't seem to have a red coloration to it. Uh... Oh, okay. You're seeing this, right? Okay. Well, moving on. I liked it for those reasons, and I, th I thought it was a genius moment. Um, and the one thing that actually, <laughs> that somewhat qualified my, if not my enjoyment of it, my sort of appreciation for the, the, the artistry behind it was that these are not noises you want to hear. Um... Let's let's come back to that point and uh Oh, it's locked. Thank fuck. I'm very glad that it's locked. Oh boy. Um Oh, that's locked too now. That's nice. It's that's nice. Oh, and there's just uh sounds happening and things rolling around. Having a good time, my kitchen. Good kitchen times. Uh, don't think I'm supposed to grab anything here and put it on the scale, but that does feel like the solution to a puzzle, doesn't it? 
Anyway, um, the one thing that diminished it was when I read... Th th okay. Well then, no need to be rude. Okay, well, can't go this way anymore, apparently, so I do need to approach the painting of the feast. Oh, and it all rots, because I'm a shithead, and all my food is rotting. Boy, that, that comes close to home. Although, uh, all the, the rotten fruit popping out like popcorn is actually just I more amusing than anything. Canvas. I Not see. just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. Oh boy. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Okay. Well, I'm sure we got that that skin from like a like a pig or something. Anyway, it was when I read the uh, Shadow Over Innsmouth story and discovered that that whole section was almost taken beat for beat from the original text, which is kind of impressive that Lovecraft just straight up wrote a video game level, <laughs> but there you go. Alright, this is a photo album, and even though you've not been born yet, oh, yep, it's, it's this one. So this was a baby album, uh, and they put the letter in there because that's what you put in baby albums. Deep breaths, remember you're professional, it's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump, what's so hard about it? Um, first few strokes, then you're over the hump, what's so hard about it? I've heard that before. Uh, alright, hey, okay, so this is filling in gradually as we endure the jump scares. Uh, okay, let's, uh, touch the canvas. And... Okay, canvas is melting, I go scratch my eye, and if I have an eye patch... Uh, next time you see a photo of me, you know there's a jump scare here. Okay, and I'm painting fucked up flamingos. Those are like Skeksis flamingos. I like it. Uh, yep, okay. Even now. Alright, yep. Coolsies. And I, I'm just gonna guess this is still empty and... Shapeless Dreams. Let's go have some shapeless dreams, I guess. Uh, boy. Alright, yep. Shit's popping off again. Oh, and yep, this isn't my house. This is an elevator. Nothing good comes at the end of an elevator with, like, a cage on the front. And, like, an old-timey setup and one of these, like, dead man switches. I have to think even when the first elevators rolled out, people stepped into these and they're like, something dire is about to go down. Alright, um... I guess we're going this way. Yep, going up. Be kind of funny if I just crawled through the top there and there's like a monster waiting to jump out at me here and he's just like, oh, that's disappointing. I think I just saw something through there in the shadows that was looking at me. Oh, scratch on, okay. And we've come to the David Pumpkins level. Only joshing. Let's go ahead. And this actually does resemble the hallway I was in that literally seemed to follow from the study. Um, the red vase here with some flowers on it. Splash of color. And as always, shit's locked, which... I wonder why those doors are there if they're just going to be locked. Uh, maybe this corresponds to a real space, or maybe this door's also locked, and now I'm going to turn around and shit my ass off. I didn't shit my ass off. I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, it's not too late. So now I do have to backtrack, apparently. Oh, no, this door's open. Woo boy. Uh, I'm not liking how small this room is. A lot of, a lot of... confined spaces. Uh, they, they don't generally unsettle me, but in a video game, for some reason, they do, because I actually feel less capable of maneuvering in a video game. Well, I can certainly understand that you're upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself. Uh, I must categorically state that I do not wish you any skin graft procedure. It's extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having said stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anna made... Oh, so basically, like, you're offering skin grafts for your wife? Uh, 
how you think right evil led us to be the fail doctors will be a great situation <laughs> yeah we're an asshole all right so i stated i can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress of late and this will not press start as if you, if you refrain yep many future correspondence uh any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself? Holy shit. Boy. Howdy. Alright, so yep, this, this this kind of a picture is developing here of a man who's not dealing well uh, with his tragedies. Uh, and sort of maybe in a Scroogean fashion, wishing he'd be less of a gaping asshole all this time to the people he loved. And appreciated them while he had them. Okay, so these doors are still locked, which tells me that either I missed something in there, or it's time to go back to the elevator, and this time go down. That did nothing. And I cannot pull it to the left here, so... Uh, I do actually appear to be missing something. Let's uh, waddle back here and have a little look-see. Okay, well, the, the door just closed now, which maybe it was supposed to do that earlier, so I can... Oh! There's a key. Uh, I want to think I missed that, but I actually suspect it appeared when I closed the door so they could do a little load transition here. Oh, that's nice. The piano's playing, and here we have a picture, which... Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. <laughs> Oh, so not only is she like, not only is she your property, but she's your pet muse, and like she has to play until her fingers bleed while you slowly paint your masterpieces. I do occasionally like playing a guy who just really deserves to get shat on by ghosts, uh, and I kind of, I, I kind of like maybe it's not very subtle, uh, and I, I would agree with you if you point out to me that this is not a very complex character we're studying here, but I almost just kind of appreciate that they're going whole hog and making you a complete wet turd. All right, so I could go back to the elevator here, which is red, but uh, I feel like I should, I should honor progression uh, before sort of re-examining that space. Alright, I definitely hear some kind of rustling coming through here. Alright, locked. Oh, is that a fire on the other side there? <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> going back to that, am I? Uh, so I'll be interested to, to, to see how much of actually, uh, how much of my distraughtness over the death of my wife. Oh. Okay, up into the attic. Oh, and there's a fire downstairs apparently, yeah is uh, over the fact that I lost someone that it turned out I cared about, or how much of it really is that he just sort of viewed her as his, his muse and his property now that she's gone he can't paint anymore, which is exactly what this guy deserves. Yep, fire down below. Be kind of interesting, actually, if uh, she survived uh, the procedure, but just, you know, maybe was disfigured or maybe uh, just, you know... <laughs> came to her senses and realized that she married a complete dick. You know, some of you might be saying that, like, you don't absolutely need to infer that he's a dick from everything that's been shown. True, but it is everything that's been shown. Uh, there's no counterexamples, particularly. Uh, there's, there's no examples of uh, actual loving or kind behavior or caring behavior, uh, which in storytelling terms basically meant to mean that this guy is a twit. A couple spooky candles and a mouse trap, which I'm gonna try to step around here. Uh, doesn't actually look like I can get through here, so let's back up off it. And I'm gonna have to call it quits in just a second here, but I think this is progress. Yeah, uh, you know it's it's. With video games, saying something looks pretty uh, isn't saying as much as it used to. We kind of hit a level point with games just looking beautiful all the time. But I will say that I, I like what they're specifically doing with lighting here. It allows you to navigate areas while still making them very dim uh, and still giving them like the appropriate feel of uh, a dark house, which is actually very hard to do. Uh, if you've ever sort of dabbled with uh, mod making even or game design, uh, creating using... 
that was raw. Uh, using light effectively uh, in a way that makes an area feel impenetrably dark while not sort of... Oh, I like that. Uh, well, not just having a character get stuck invisibly on a chair for 20 minutes. Uh, it's kind of hard to do. Nope. Yep, even sort of as I, I caught a glimpse, even as the light flickered there, it, it shifted and morphed, which I, I liked because uh, I didn't actually notice the, the visual transition until it was sort of too late. Alright, I can turn this globe, but I can't examine it closely. Uh, although I can right-click to zoom in, apparently, but that tells me that it's not a puzzle. What's that say? Um, it looks like backwards text, but I can't really read it. Undone. It cannot be undone. Okay. Oh, well, I just stepped through the mirror, so... That's me being a bit silly. And I'm just writing it over and over again in what uh, I'm guessing is actually ashes. Uh, which, yes, you cannot undo a fire. That is, that is, that is truth. And shit's kind of fucked over there, but otherwise this place looks more or less exactly the same, except just with the text mirror. Uh, we're going to continue a little while longer here, like I said. Dogs barking. Oh man, don't throw a dead dog into this mix. This guy, this guy's already fucked up everything good within a 20 mile radius of himself. Oh, yeah, this dog burned to death, I guess. I mean, if that's literally a representation of what's happening, which considering I'm hearing a dog die, uh, that, that seems pretty conclusive to me that yes, a dog has died in a fire. You cannot get more country song than that. Not, not even country song. That's, that's like opera. <laughs> Uh, even your goddamn dog burned down. Your dog burned down. A perfect end to a perfect life. And is it gonna... Nope, didn't melt. Oh, boy. Like I said, we're gonna take a little break here, but uh, I think there's gonna be another episode of this. I think Layers of Fear uh, deserves some further scrutiny. Um, now, what, what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna vi revisit a little bit in the downtime. Yep, there's that melted painting I liked so much, or just another quite like it. Uh, it's interesting, um, in terms of symbolism, I don't know what I would get out of this, I, unless that's a female face, in which case it kind of represents how he sort of saw himself and his art as being intermingled with her, uh, and how, you know, you can't, you can't separate them anymore, uh, but... Otherwise, I, I'm high, finding it difficult to see a really uh, symbolic parallel. Oh, here's a small version. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, again, I like that because it was startling, but it actually was kind of low-key startling. Yeah, yeah, I, I like this game's approach to jump scares. I, I'm really digging it so far. Anyway, like I said, uh, I'm going to play a little bit ahead, maybe? Or, you know, while recording? Uh, and if, if the game has some interesting twists and turns and some more interesting effects, uh, we'll upload another episode here, uh, although if it does turn out that it's nothing but just kind of this, like hallways and little clues and little hints, I could see how that would be get sort of underwhelming and maybe we'll have a little follow up here where I'll, I'll, I'll explain why that ultimately can't sustain an entire full length game. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we'll just sort of keep progressing and see how things go.